with your ukulele? Uh, it's normally one of the very first questions I get asked in school by students. Um, I see the question asked an awful lot on social media by beginners. And I've also noticed um, fairly recently that when you tend to buy cheaper packages with a ukulele, um, it'll come with a case, a strap, tuner and quite often plectrums. So I'll just talk you through what I tell the students in school. I'll show you a few of the different types of plectrums that are available and I'll give you a quick demo with some of them so you can hear what they sound like. Right, so should you use a plectrum, I do encourage the students to use their fingers when strumming, okay, whenever possible in school. However, I know from my own personal experience as well um, <clears throat> that there are times when you need to use a plectrum. Um, I, you get blisters on your thumb and your fingers, so that might need a plectrum or a pick. Um, oh, a couple of years ago, I quite badly cut my finger um, and there was just no way I could strum with it. But after a couple of days, I could hold a plectrum so it didn't stop me playing too long, all right? Um, so there are times when using a plectrum is a need um, and there are people who just prefer to use a plectrum as well. There are also finger picks. Now, I'm not talking about that today, same way as I'm not talking about finger picking with a plectrum. I'm just talking about generally for the beginners, should I or can I use a plectrum? Okay, so the three main types of plectrum is a plastic one or like a traditional guitar plectrum, which is normally a sort of nylon material. And I'll just grab one here for a minute. So be something, now that's actually quite a large one there. All right, that's quite a thin plectrum if I hold that. All right, there we go. You can get much thicker ones which I'll show you in a moment, and much thinner ones than that. Then leather plectrums, and this is my own personal favorite, having tried quite a few plectrums. A um, Couple of examples here. So this is the one you saw at the beginning of the video. All right, it's, it's quite a thick plectrum. This one is um, quite stiff leather as well. I will be playing uh, the uke with some of these in a minute. This one, you might have seen if you've been looking at leather plectrums. Okay, I'm trying to get it, there we go. All right, now that's quite a big size. I've had this for years. It's quite thick as well. And you can see, I haven't actually used it very much. It's, it's okay, I just find that one a little bit bulky as plectrums go. Okay, and the other type of plectrum then is a felt plectrum and there we are, if I bring that one in a bit closer. Okay, so that's, you can see it's sort of layers of felt stuck together and it is, it's quite thick again and quite sturdy and stiff. Okay, so that's your felt plectrum. Makes me laugh when I was, oh, a teenager, quite a few years ago, um, I was a bass player and I remember making my own plectrums, felt plectrums, but they would normally be a normal guitar pick or plectrum with bits of felt stuck on it and then you could get a nice sort of uh, mellower sound. So that's the three main types of plectrum, plastic, leather, felt. Um, I have seen a couple of others. There's a sort of rubbery type one you can get and I had a brilliant one in school which was um, it was like a textured rubber, but with a very thin nylon center. I haven't got it at home at the minute. Um, so there are quite a few different plectrums available. And if you are using a plectrum, quite often it's a good idea to try a few just to see what your own personal preference is. Let's have a little listen then. We're going to start with my personal most disliked plectrum, which is the plastic one. All right. I, I dislike it more so because of the damage it can cause to your ukulele. And I'm using one of my cheaper ukes today. Uh, I probably wouldn't do what I'm about to do with some of these plectrums with a more expensive ukulele. So this one we're gonna start with is a very, very thin nylon. All right, if I hold it 
that way. Can you see it really is quite thin? So in fact, this one is 0.60 millimeters, a really, really thin plastic plectrum. It's quite nice because it's got a bit of a texture on it. So this is what it sounds like. with something like this damaging my ukulele just not my style with the plastic right so another plastic one okay you like that now these are the sort of plectrums that ideally I don't really want students in school um, playing on the ukuleles because with quite strong strumming you could start to break strings uh, this one is 1.25 millimeter. Okay, I can I can almost hear that one clicking when it's playing. There we go, another plastic one. Right, so this last plastic one, this is actually a bass. Uh, plectrum. This is two millimeter, okay, and you can see there it really is quite thick. All right, I would go a bit nuts if I caught a student playing on a school ukulele with one of these. quite gently hear it you can hear it hitting the ukulele all right so that is um, a bass plectrum that really shouldn't be used on a uke so the next type of plectrum are made of felt now as I said earlier I used to stick bits of felt over a plastic plectrum to play bass guitar when I was a kid these aren't made like this this is a sort of a felt material all glued together all right it really is quite um stiff in terms of i can't flex it at all okay if i show you this one is the thinnest of the felt plectrums okay and you do have these come with ukuleles as a little freebie sometimes uh, i i would prefer uh students in school to use fe uh, felt over plastic or nylon certainly let's have a little listen to it this is the thinnest but very um sturdy felt one show you this one is a bit smaller it's actually a little bit nicer to hold this was uh, we had uh, some of these when we bought a stack of Camise ukuleles a few years ago all right so in terms of thickness there we are it's a little bit thicker than the uh, clear water one so this is the Camise felt one um I still I can't really flex it it, it, it is a little bit softer than the white the first one so here we go you can hear the difference it is it's softer this one is um here we are now i actually prefer the sound of that to the clickiness of the plastic ones However, I do feel sometimes you lose a little bit of volume with some of the softer felt plectrums. I've got one more felt plectrum. This is a sort of middle of the two, all right? This one is, you can see there, like that. 
This one is probably the same thickness as the purple chemise plectrum, but it's not as uh, bendy. This one's a bit more rigid, like the first white one. All right, so let's have a listen to this one. Here we go. Camise, the purple one, it's got quite a nice sound off it and you don't lose too much volume but I can't remember the make. When I do eventually remember it, I'll pop it in the description. So the last type of plectrums we're going to look at for the ukulele is a leather plectrum. Now, um, right, I'll come in a bit closer. There we go. Alright, this one, this is my current favourite. Um, sits in my pocket most of the time. All right, I've normally got I don't know, four or five plectrums floating around in my pocket, so whenever I go to pay for something, it looks like I got more money. Um, but what I find is, especially with the leather ones, they wear quite nicely if they're in your pocket and amongst your coins. And this one now is probably about two years old, and it's it's really nice and flexible. All right, so it sounds quite nice and is lovely to hold. Um, so there are sometimes it takes a while to break your plectrums in. So we'll start with this, my favourite. As I said, it's you know it really is quite flexible. This one, all right. It's textured the one side, and then it's just your rough leather. You get that in the light, the other side. Okay. So this is what my favourite plectrum sounds like. happy playing with that one. Okay, so that's my favourite leather plectrum. Um, I get these off um, a buyer on eBay. I'll pop the link in the description below and he comes up with some brilliant designs. So by the same maker as my favourite plectrum, all right, is this one. There we go. Now this one is, there you are, you can see that, nowhere near as flexible as my worn in plectrum at the minute. All right, this one has only been in my pocket probably, I don't know, about six months or something. So it has had nowhere near as much use. And I, I don't use a plectrum very often these days. It's only if I've either got um, something sore with a finger or a thumb, or if there's something so fast that I've got to go a bit mad with. All right, House of Gold springs to mind. Okay, so this is another slightly stiffer leather plectrum. losing any volume with this at all because as I said it's quite rigid um, you don't get any real clicky sounds with these it really does emulate your fingers and thumb far more not all leather plectrums work great and um, this one this is a suede or I describe it as a suede plectrum if I show you that look how look how bendy that is it's actually two pieces of suede stuck together all right so I will you know, I'll show you that how thick it is. Now, <clears throat> normally if I have a load of plectrums in and I get some like this in there, I take these out straight away because, <laughs> you hear the difference? It's just too soft, all right? When I'm, that's as hard as I can strum it. There's hardly any volume coming off it and it just sort of flops against strings and I couldn't I don't think I can even do this oh that's really hard no okay so some leather plectrums are just too soft so 
another leather plectrum. Um, you see these ones quite often actually in music shops. Um, there we are. This is quite a big one, okay? It's quite thick, all right? Um, it, it's, it is bendable. There is a bit of flexibility in that, okay? Um, I find this one just a bit clunky, if I'm honest. I've had this. I think this is probably one of the first leather plectrums I bought. And as you can see, I haven't used it very much at all. Sounds nice. I just find it is a little bit bulky to hold. sound off it it's just not my favorite one um i'm trying to think of the name of it actually uh this was an amiga from the amiga shop i'll i'll find out the names of this type of plectrum and pop a link in the description below now the last type of plectrum i'm going to show you um i've only recently discovered these as a seller on ebay um i'll try and find the name and again pop it in the link in the description below um i got some of these um for school and they flew out the kids absolutely loved them all right they're a little bit bigger than my regular leather ones okay Maybe like that so you can see it it's not overly thick actually they're sturdy enough um but for whatever reason these are the choice of the students in school at the minute okay and i always say look go and try a few different ones and see which ones you prefer and these are the ones that their top choices are so let's have a listen choice of the pupils at the moment so a quick recap um, it's entirely up to you whether you use a plectrum or not my personal choice is I try not to but I know there are times when I do use a plectrum I try to encourage the students in school to learn using their fingers and thumb but again I know that sometimes they need to use a plectrum and sometimes they prefer using it and if they're learning um, and getting better on their strums I really don't mind. I don't allow pupils and students in school to use plastic plectrums and certainly not on the school ukuleles because it does cause strings to break. Never try strumming with a coin or anything else. Um, so the three main types of plectrum, leather, my first choice, felt and then plastic or nylon, like the normal guitar ones. If you are gonna use a plastic plectrum, make sure it is a very, very thin one. Also remember as well that it takes a bit of practice to get used to using a plectrum. You don't want to damage your ukulele. Okay, I do hope this video has helped and answered any questions you've got about using plectrums and your ukes. Um, as always, if you've got a comment or a question, please feel free to leave it below. Give us a like if you've enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on new videos. Thank you for watching.